Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Arclight Rumble related. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the grid, which is the in-game shop, and all of the basics and essentials of how to use it. So here we go. Let's go straight to the shop. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of conquest, which is completing campaign missions uh, again with different families to get a little bit of gold. And we're going to look for Defias Bandits. So far, we've spent... Mm, I want to say about 20,000 gold, uh, probably a little more, and we still haven't seen them in the shop. So while I look for them today, fingers crossed that we get them, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how this works. So basically there are three things that the shop offers you that you can buy. So minis cost 350, leaders like Tyrion here cost 400, and then talents like this one cost 500. Talents are something that you can get in the shop only when you own the mini that they are for. So you buy a mini like the Spiderling and now all of a sudden you have the chance of getting Spiderling talents in your shop. So we can look at the Spiderling and see the talents. One is called Bloated Carapace. It explodes on death, poisoning nearby enemies. Frostbite, the Spiderling's game Frost. And then Envenom, deal twice as much poison damage. Um, so a lot of the talents are pretty useful and they change the way some of the minis play uh, they also give you an extra level on the unit that they are for so if i were to buy this dark spiritual talent he would go from level 11 to level 12 because it gives him a level okay so the way that the grid works is let's say i want to buy the spiderling so everything to the left so this grayed out section everything to the right so Tyrion is grayed out and everything above and below. So basically the same column, same row, all of that gets deleted. So when I buy the Spiderling, which I'm about to do because I'm going to cycle through the shop looking for something, um, Tyrion and those will disappear. So I'm gonna do it and you'll see how it works. There we go, Spiderlings start at level nine because I have enough minis. And we leveled up, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so now we got populated with XP to a unit that we already own, two new units, the Mountaineer and the Ogre Mage, and then this uncommon XP boost. So what these do is you can't buy them, um, but you can eliminate them. So if I were to buy this Meat Wagon XP, I would eliminate the green experience boost. And when that happens, uh, I just get a little extra XP. So you can see here that if I were to buy this XP, I would get 610. You can see that next to the level of the Meat Wagon, uh, which is pretty solid. But I have a theory. Uh, I don't know if it's accurate or not, but I'm just going to buy all of the Alliance units that come to me because I'm looking for a different Alliance unit. Uh, what I just did there is I can pay 10 gold to move anything in the grid one space. So the reason you do that is sometimes you have things in the shop, uh, like multiple things that you want to buy, but you need to move them so that you don't eliminate them by buying the other thing. Um, so I'm going to move the Mountaineer up uh, because I want to grab this XP boost just to eliminate another thing, and then I'm going to buy him. I don't particularly like the Mountaineer unit, but if it means I find the Thias Bandits faster, I'm going to buy him. Okay. We can also get these XP tomes. They're 500 gold. Um, a lot. So they're themed to families. This Alliance one just means that the first choice between the minis you get, uh, the first one on the left is going to be an Alliance unit. The second one is going to be random. Uh, I don't actually think these are worth buying ever uh, unless you own everything already they're just i don't know 500 gold's a lot for it you could spend that to buy a unit and then save or buy a talent for something you really like um so we're gonna move it down i want to eliminate as many things as possible so i'm going to buy these raptors which i think are pretty solid and hopefully we'll fill up and get a device bandits oh, we leveled up again so every time you level up you get extra XP on your quest tomes, on your quest rewards, and your new mini bonus, which is when you buy something. You also get a little bit of gold. 
Okay, we're just gonna keep buying alliance units because we really want to see this Defias Bandit, and I think that buying them eliminates other alliance minions from the pool. I don't know how accurate that is. Man, that is really good chromatic plating. Let's see. Eggs gain taunt. That's actually not one of the good ones. Uh, however, just buying extra levels on the something is good. So even if you don't plan on using that specific talent, buying the talent for the mini, if you're going to use the mini, is always worth it. Uh, Welp eggs are really good. Uh, kind of busted right now with the rookery talent, but I'm not really looking for them. I don't want to use them in my build. Uh, I already know they're good. I don't need to test it. Um, so we're just going to keep looking for Defias Bandits because we want to run that in our main build. So we'll just clear out as much as we can by moving the Torrent up. Another cord for leveling up. Okay, I want to eliminate more, and I'm going to buy Murkai. Uh, I like Murkai. I think he's a very solid leader. Uh, I just don't own him yet because I'm not trying to play him, but we'll buy him now. Get some stuff out of the way. I don't have very much gold to look for to buy a span that's... So, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Man, I think he just doesn't exist, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move Earth Elemental up so we can grab these... Uh, two things up here and eliminate them by here, and then this is our last drop down. Hmm. No Defias Bandit, sadly. Unfortunate. So. Hmm. I guess we might move the Banshee over and buy it. Or the War Song Raider. I like both the units just fine. Not terrible. I guess we'll buy here and eliminate those three things. Now we're down to 50 gold. Oh, man. Hey, there they are. Just when I ran out of gold. So, I could buy this bundle. It just gives you a bunch of minis with some gold. Uh, the gold is, if you already own one of the units, it will replace it with 350 gold, I believe. Yeah. Um, but... I mean, that's not worth buying $25 for six minis and a liter. Nah. Uh, could buy some gold. Already bought it this week. Probably won't buy it again. These aren't great deals, but I just wanted to test things out quickly, so I bought it. Um, so yeah, it looks like our option is to go and do conquest missions. So that is what I will be doing. Um, yeah, it'll be great. Gonna go do conquest missions and get my device bandits so I can finally use them in my build. But that's the guide to that. It's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, don't eliminate the things you want. Move stuff around if you get multiple things that you want. And that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a good day. Peace.